Welcome back for the third video in this Source 4 fixture series. This time we'll be discussing the art of the bench focus. Bench focusing is an important part of maintaining your lighting inventory. This process can only be done to fixtures that house a reflector and is especially important in fixtures like ETC's Source 4 ellipsoidal where alignment of the lamp and reflector is critical. Our goal is to end up with a fixture that has an even field of light with little visible differentiation between the field and beam angle. The easiest way to see the composition of your beam of light is to set up your fixture as my lovely assistant has done for us. Thank you, Tom. You'll need easy access to the rear of the fixture and you'll need to clearly see the beam of light projected on a flat, even surface. Tom recommends mounting the fixture on a table or bench 8 to 10 feet away from a white wall or cloth, as we have done here. On the back of your Source 4 fixture, you'll see two black knobs stacked on top of one another. Both are used in performing your bench focus. The outer knob is simply a locking knob, which you can loosen to then adjust the position of the lamp on the X and Y axes within the reflector. The inner knob adjusts the flatness of the field by changing the lamp depth or Z axis inside the reflector. Before bench focusing, it's helpful to start this process from a known state. So before you adjust the focus, set your beam field knob at its furthest back position. Remove the lamp housing assembly from the rear of the fixture by loosening the brass screw. Being careful not to touch the lamp, compress the lamp burner base until it is at its furthest back position in the assembly. This will make it easier to tighten the center beam knob completely. Tighten the center knob to hold the burner base in this position. Then reattach the lamp housing assembly. Now plug in and turn on the fixture. Set the brightness to about 35% intensity. This is bright enough to do what you need without getting too hot. Now that we've set our starting point, you should see a pattern like this, with a dark spot roughly in the center. This makes it easy to center the lamp in the reflector. Unlock and loosen the outer knob by turning it counterclockwise. Once loose, you can slide the knob lamp assembly, adjusting the XY placement of the lamp in the reflector. Keep an eye on the dark center of the beam. You'll see it shift as you move the lamp. Center the dark spot in the beam circle and then re-tighten the outer knob by turning it clockwise. Next, we'll adjust the appearance of the entire beam with the inner knob. This knob improves the evenness of the beam. Again, watching the beam on the wall, adjust the inner knob. Turning it counterclockwise moves the lamp further into the reflector, gradually bringing more brightness to the center of the beam. Turning it clockwise moves the lamp further back in the reflector, gradually darkening the center of the beam. Adjust the knob until the beam is even. For area lighting, you might want to have the beam center slightly brighter than the edges to even out the overlapping fields of light. You have now bench focused one fixture. One down, 1,999,999 to go. Bench focusing your entire inventory as part of a regular maintenance routine will lengthen the life of your lamps, and your designer will thank you. Uh, no, thank you.